Hi guys, what's up? It's Mari here. Coming to you with a highly requested video. And I hope I got it together and I'm not missing anything. But um, yeah, this is, uh, I'm gonna, I gotta do it like by sections cause it's just too much to do in one video. So I'm gonna do my of course, I'm going to do for you guys my handbag uh, collection video, but I'm going to start off with the SLGs, and then I'll just take it from there. So I'm going to do the Louis Vuitton, my Louis Vuitton SLG collection. So let's jump right into it, because there's a few items. So before I get into that, I just got this lipstick. And I blame Irene from Be Fabulous With Me, Irene. She did her five favorite uh, lippies. And she said that the Dior was her number one fave. So, you know, I had to try it. So this is the Rouge Dior 772 Classic Matte. 772, that's the shade. And... There it is. And of course you can see it's a matte finish. And it does feel really nice on the lips. It doesn't feel like you have anything, honestly, on your lips. So, yeah. There's that. And let's just jump right into this. Okay. So, I'm going to start with... This is the Louis Vuitton Agenda in the MM size, in the monogram. And this is what I have in here. And, of course, I, have, I, I got these done. And each month, each month I have, like, a different... Um, dashboard Hi. yeah so I'm not gonna go through everything but this is we'll be here forever <laughs> so this is the agenda in the mm size in the monogram then then I have the desk agenda cover and this is in the graffiti I absolutely love this um, agenda and here I just have some notes there so I didn't want to show that but this is how I have a to do a book on this side and then here I have my uh, little book that I got made on um, Facebook I think her name was Wendy and uh, yeah, so there's that. And this is a great, I, I don't know, I think I, I like this better than the, than the, uh, yeah, the agenda itself. But they are both great, but I think I lean more towards the agenda cover. So that's that. All right. Then... This is the item that I recently showed on a video. This is the Louis Vuitton uh, Nice Mini. I got to think about it. The Nice Mini. And this, I told you guys, I'm going to use it as a, as a bag. But it is, I guess, technically an SLG. So there's that. Then I have the toiletry pouch in the size 19 and in the size 26. And, oh, I should have told you guys, like, if there was... Uh... Yeah, this, this piece was made in France. And... 
And this piece also made in France. Okay. And then my niece Minnie. I think it's Italy. Yeah, made in Italy. Alright. And then these two. My 19 is made in Spain. And then my 26 is made in France. And you guys know I use this as a bag as well. And there is my organizer in there. And then this I bought an organizer as well. So I can use as a bag. So there's that. I had the 15. I did have the trifecta, but I sold it a while back. And I still regret it. But what can you do? I mean, I sold it because I wasn't using it. It was so small. And I had the mini pochette. So I'm like, do I really need this? So that's why I ended up selling it. So there's that. Okay. Then I have the Louis Vuitton E2 pouch in the PM size. And this I use like a little clutch when I go out and this as well is made in France and this is so soft and of course you have the monogram canvas so there's that now let's get into the pouches this is the pouch that comes with the Neverfull MM. So here's my Damir Azor. And you have the pink interior. And this as well is made in France. Then you have the Ebin, Damir Ebin, with that gorgeous red interior. And I think. From what I remember, it's made in USA, this one. Yep, made in USA. So this one was made in USA. Then, you guys know that I got the... I wanted the, the pouch of the Escal. So I got that. And this one is made in Spain. You got that gorgeous blue interior. And of course, that silver hardware. So these are the three pouches that I have. Hopefully soon I'll add the monogram. Okay. Now let's go into the... I'll do the cosmetic pouches. So, okay. These are all in the PM size. And then I have one in the GM size. So this is the Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch in the GM size in the monogram. And I think this piece was made in France. Yep. Made in France. And you guys know I use this as a bag. I put my Z rings here and I attach my strap and I use it as a bag. So there's the monogram and the GM. Then I have the cosmetic pouch in the PM size. This is Damir Zor, Damir Ben. And I added the D-rings to this one as well. I didn't put it on this one. And this piece was made in France. And the event was also made in France. And I have some things in here. Okay. And then I have the cosmetic pouch in the PM size, but in the giant monogram collection. 
this is the only piece that I have from that collection. And I love this white uh, part. I also love the khaki, but it's so beautiful. And you guys, I told you guys I added the Z-Wings to this. And this piece was made in France as well. I think the majority of my pieces were made in France. Then you have the magical cosmetic pouch, the PM size and the Escal collection. Gorgeous silver hardware. And this as well was made in France. Why I have so many cosmetic pouches, I don't know. I think it's a great piece. And like I said, I use it as a bag as well. So there you go. Okay, now we'll go to, we'll jump into the mini pouch, uh, mini pochettes. So I have four. And this is the, let's go here first. Made in France. This is in the monogram. Again, these are the mini pochettes. And there it is inside. You have that brown cloth interior. Then this is made in France as well. And this has the beige cloth interior. And you just have some lippies, my Chanel mirror. And I think this piece, I picked it up, if I'm not mistaken, in, the, in DR when I was on vacation. Yeah. So there's that. Then I have the Louis Vuitton mini pochettes in the Damir Ebin. But this is the Trunks uh, collection. And this, I did a video on this. I think I got this from... I want to say rebag. I think I got this from rebag. And I did have this in, you know, the regular, um, you know, plane. And I sold it. Why? I don't know. It's the gorgeous red interior. And since then, I missed it. That's why now I really think, like, I triple and quadruple check to make sure I don't want something. Even if it sits on my shelf for a year or more. I just want to make sure. Um, so I was searching for them and they want a ridiculous amount for these things. Even fashion file, like you gotta be kidding me. Like the price that they ask for these. So I found this one on rebag and I figured, you know, the trunks collection, I thought this was cute. So I picked that up and did I say where this was made? Oh, okay. I don't think so. so this as well was made in France. And then this is the gorgeous uh mini pochette in the escal collection the pink and uh, this as well is made in france and you have that beautiful like purplish interior and of course your silver hardware i love that about the escal collection that it has the silver hardware um all right let's keep moving <clears throat> so these are my only large wallets that I have left in my collection. I have sold the rest and this one I'm thinking about selling and this one as well. This one I think I used it maybe like, I don't know, maybe like three times, you know, and it's been sitting there and this one I used it a few times this one i purchased myself in the soho store in manhattan this one i bought uh pre-loved and this i bought pre-loved as well this one i used a lot but i'll be i won't be selling this one but yeah so <clears throat> this is the sarah wallet and i gotta see the button I want to take this so they could, you know, put a new button on it. And, yeah, this is the inside. I have my initials there in the blue. And as you can see, I did not use this bag, um, this wallet. But there it is. 
So it's a great wallet, but um, I'm not into the, the big wallets. So that's why I haven't used it. Then this is the Sarah wallet in the Amprant Noir. And oh, I still have some stuff in there. But yeah, this is it inside. It's, still has that that leather <laughs> smell. And then I have the Damia Bin uh Zippy Wallet, I think it's called. And this is a huge wallet. You can fit so much in there. I love this. I just, I don't know. I kind of like that, you know, the whole zip around thing. So, <laughs> yeah, that's um, the zippy wallet. These are my only three large wallets. Okay. Then, let me show you guys. I have the... The monogram uh, denim shawl. It's a denim noir, I think this is called. But yeah, this, look at that. I have a snag right there. I have one snag. So this is, yeah, one of my uh, scarves. Then I have also the monogram. And I don't, I forget what they call these, but uh, yeah, this is in the gray color, and it is so beautiful. But you know, you gotta be so careful with these because you know they snag easily. But I had this one, I think, the longest, and I don't have a snag on this one, just on that other one. Then I also have the monogram shawl in the red. And this one I had it for a while as well, but it's held up really well too. So those are my three LV scarves. And then I have my other stuff in here. Let me get a little closer. <laughs> Okay, so here I have the Louis Vuitton card case in the Eclipse. And I love this print. I told you guys so many times that I would love to have a bag in this print. I swear I'll be first online. And this was made in France. I don't know if you guys can see that. This was made in France. And then I had the key pouch in the Emprunt, in the Noir, which is the black. And I love this piece. This is such a great um, piece. I don't use it as a key pouch. I use this as a wallet. And this is made in France as well. Yeah, this is such a great piece to use as a wallet. Like, I put my coins back here. And then here, I put my cards and my cash. And then, of course, you have your D-ring that you can hang it from your bag or just use it like that. And look at that embossing. It's just to die for. I was hunting this piece in the Rose Poudre. But I still haven't... Um, you know, I stopped looking, really, because I, I would have found it by now. But, yeah. This is such a wonderful, wonderful SLG right here. So, there's that. And then I have um, this I bought maybe a few months back. This is the Carte Envelope, I think it's called. And this was made in Spain. And there it is. This is a cute little piece as well. 
You can use it as a wallet or a card case, but it is great. Then I have two uh, Louis Vuitton Rosalie wallets. This is in the monogram with the like burgundy color and then the Damier Azur in the pink. So I love this color. The contrast with the monogram in this is so nice. And of course you have the that burgundy interior. And this was made in Spain. I love these as well. This is such a great uh, card uh, holder or wallet. And then, of course, you have the pink uh, button. And then inside, you have that beautiful pink interior. And this one as well was made in Spain. And then, of course, your leather tackle is in the pink as well. Okay. Then I have, as you see a pattern here, right? I when I when I like something, I'll get like two or three uh, different prints in it. So this is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, and this has the pink. This I gotta take it back to LB so they could replace the button. But I use this a handful of times. As you can see, it's brand new. I would say maybe like three, four times tops I use this. I thought this was like my kind of wallet, but I just don't like the whole tri trifold thing. I don't know why. I mean, it's a functional wallet. You know, you have spot for your bills, your cards here. You have another, you know, pocket there, here. And then, of course, you have for your change. But, yeah, I think I'm going to let this one go as well. So there's that. And then this is the one in the Empreinte. I have not used this at all. This is brand new. So crazy. <laughs> yeah, and you guys know I love that Empreinte. And then it has, this is the inside. And this was made in France. I just love the feel of Ampron is just gorgeous so yeah this is brand new um I don't know I'm still on the fence if I'm gonna sell it I don't know <laughs> maybe not then these wallets I absolutely love these wallets this is the compact zippy wallet and I have it in the Damir Ibn Damir Azor and of course, in the Empreinte Noir. And let's start with the Ben. And there it is. And this piece was made in France. I absolutely love this wallet. It's compact, but so cute. This is the Empreinte. And this was made in France as well. And I love this. Love, love, love. And then this is the Azure. And of course, it's the beige interior. And this was made in France as well. So, you know, you can fit so much in here. It's an awesome wallet. I'm doing like a tower here. <laughs> okay. So, now... This is the Louis Vuitton Damier Ebin belt. And I've used this a handful of times. Yeah. Made in France. Yeah, haven't really used this. Um, there's a day code. Haven't really used this. And this is a size 95. So, I don't know. I'll probably be selling this one as well. I have another belt. Okay, here it goes. I have this belt. This is the Louis Vuitton reversible belt. The gold tone hardware. Then you have the brown on one side and the black on the other. 
I love this belt because you can use it, you know, either way. And it just feels so soft. I absolutely love this belt. There's that. Then I have the uh, Twilly in from the Escal collection. And do I have another one? I think this is my only one. The other ones I have, I think, are Hermes. So there's that. Then I have the key clay in the Damier bin and in the graffiti. Of course, the graffiti has the silver hardware, and the other one has the gold. But these pieces are great to have in any collection. This was made in France. Uh, you guys are not going to be able to see that. And then this was, let's see. Okay. It says Louis Vuitton Paris. Trying to see the day code. Ah, I'm not be able to find it. Uh, I can't find it, but I think this is. I want to say made in USA, but I'm not too sure. Then I have my Louis Vuitton. Escal from the Escal collection, the sunglasses case, and such a beautiful piece. And uh, I don't know if you can see that there, it's made in France as well. You have your silver hardware, and whoop, you have that gorgeous uh, suede interior. Then I have card organizer and I have it in the monogram I use this piece to zap of course you guys know I have it in the neon which I love I forgot the something with a T uh, yellow it's, it's the thing and then it's the color and then this I think is the lagoon blue so this was made in Spain. And then the blue one was made in France. And then this one was made in France as well. This is, I'm using this, of course, you see. I have my stuff in there then this is the latest beauty that i added to my collection this is the louis vuitton recto verso with the black and this piece mm, This was made in France as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous wallet. Okay. I'm almost finished, guys. Oh, my God. You see, this is where I had to break them down because it's so long. I have these two canvas uh, bracelets, and I have it in the monogram. And then I have it in the Azure as well. These pieces, I got them from Paris. Because my uh, lady, I told you guys about my personal shopper, she got those for me. Then I have this beautiful bracelet. It's white. 
one side and the other side is the monogram you got your gold hardware and this piece i picked it up from the uh, soho boutique it is beautiful i love this bracelet then i have three uh, charms so i have the regular gold charm this is a beautiful piece and I use this a lot. And then I have the Vivian, the uh, Vivian Christmas um, collection. And this was made in France as well. And she, she picked it up for me as well. Personal shopper. And this piece, I think. This I think I, I purchased in the Soho Boutique. Trying to see if it's made in France or what. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see that. Okay, so there's that one. And then, of course, I have the beautiful Vivian. I think it's a Shanghai um, key charm. There she is in the hot air balloon. And then in the back, you have the beautiful monogram. And I want to say that she also picked this one up for me. Yeah, so I think that's about it for my SLGs. Um, my Louis Vuitton sneakers, you guys saw that in my um, luxury sneaker collection. But I think that's it for my SLGs of Louis Vuitton. So I hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I'm sorry I took so long to make it. But yeah, it's just so much. Um, I'll be doing um, the Chanel and Fendi and YSL together because I don't have, you know, too many of those. So thank you guys so much. Uh, God bless you. Los amos mucho. Bye.